Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome couples travel trailer. Really nice, great quality, and super lightweight. This is a 2022 East to West Alta model 2850 KRL. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the East to West Alta and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to be showing you guys our very first East to West Alta travel trailer. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. I'm super excited today because we are here at RV1 of Charleston, South Carolina. Um, today the, the dealership isn't even open, but it will be this Friday, the 22nd. Yes. And we're all gonna be there. Matt, Andrea, myself, and Jen. Um, and this is, a, you, you guys know our friend Elijah. This is gonna be his store that he's the GM of. And we're excited to um, kick it off this weekend with the big grand opening and help him get started. Yes, the grand opening, again, is this Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The address is 691 Treeland Drive, Ladson, South Carolina, 29345, zip code. We hope to see everybody here at the dealership this weekend, especially if you're looking at a travel trailer or fifth wheel. They have a great selection of that. Not a great selection of motorhomes right now, but again, if you're looking at a tra travel trailer, definitely come down this weekend. And Will, yep. let's begin. All right. Model is the 2850 Ulta. The actual tip-tip length of this travel trailer is 33 feet, seven inches. The dry weight is 6,000. 851 pounds and the hitch weight is 778 pounds will this is an awesome unit yes. fiberglass sidewalls aluminum framing great quality if you take a look at it it actually resembles a grand design imagine a lot right it kind of has that same silhouette and this is a great unit to compare that to um because there's a lot of similar features there are also what's great about south carolina they have east to west and grand designs right, here if you do right. like both right up front is a painted my painted molded fiberglass front cap really nice black paint with white led lights and right here you got your rock guard power tongue jack here propane tanks go here and your batteries go here coming on down the side here will this is something really unique that I haven't seen on a travel trailer before. Sideways swinging slam right. latch doors. I kind of like it, I think, though. No, I love it. I yeah. think it's absolutely fantastic. And this is a huge amount of storage right here. Coming on down the side here, we do have the crappy aluminum fold-up steps, which we don't like. But it is two entryways, so at least they got the solid steps for the main entryway. Yes. This one leads to the master bedroom, okay? We do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. And right here is your water heater. This is all white trailer. Again, um, fiberglass with aluminum. I kind of wish they painted this white. It is what it is. We do got TV hookup on the outside. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Goodyear Endurance tires. I love those. ST225-75 R15. Very nice. Goodyear does make the best tires for the RV industry. And if you do want to have an exterior TV, you can actually mount it right there as well. Coming on down the side here, Will, we do got the Moride Step Above Steps right there. Very nice. Yes, sir. What's really great about East to West, this unit does have the extended climate package, okay? Which means it does have the heated and closed on belly with heating pads on the tanks and they use Asdell. You guys know we love Asdell. Asdell is a green-based composite that will never delaminate on you. That's right. Nice big grab handle here. And this uh, D-ring to leash up your uh, pet. Let, let's show a picture of Yuna and Tucker. Do we have a picture of them together? Probably. Bing! That's Will Dog and our dog. Come. Did you forget the tool? What's that? The oh, box. show that, Will. I forgot. What? Should I open it? Yes! All Will, right. is this America? <laughs> Hey, if you're not gonna do it for America, do it for South Carolina. All right. 
So this is really cool because there have been times when even I've broken down on the side of the road and you don't want to have to dig through to get your tools. Let's see if we can get the right key. So to have it right here with the steps out of the way. I don't think it's the purple keys. Well, I think it's, a black, think it's key. a black key. Yeah. Doubt it, right? Yeah, try it, Will. We are in South Carolina, so you never know. Right. And while Will's doing that, y'all, guys, I can't wait. You guys are watching the videos. This video has been interrupted, and we're in Texas. But in like a couple weeks, we'll be in Georgia on the video schedule. Right. And guys, we did some kick-ass units in Georgia. Oh, we did, yeah. It's, a, it's awesome. So yeah, this is really nice. Again, not a lot of room, but just like a little bit of room to get your tools in and out. Some of your emergency equipment, like if you break down on the side of the road, it's like, hey, one key, you get your flares out and at least kind of, you know, direct traffic a little bit out of the way. And that it's so nice because that space wasn't, wouldn't have been utilized right, anyway. it would have been wasted. Exactly, exactly. Very nice, thank you, sir. Uh-huh. And then coming around the back, we do got a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. Look what I'm noticing, Will. They yeah. didn't give you an off-brand, they still gave you the Goodyear Endurance. Um, right there we got a spray port. It is prepped for a Furion backup camera. And there is a ladder to get up on the roof. Will, let's go up there and take a look. All right, careful going up. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, we have a nice one-piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units, I love that place for max air fans and right up there you can see that there is a solar panel already on the roof careful coming down here we go will oh great in heaven already make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button what are the rv salesmen taking his fat ass up on the roof showing you what features the roof has to offer nobody nobody will yeah also forgot to mention Lippard electric stabilizing jacks. We love that. Yes. 50 amp power cord here. Did I have two ACs or it's prepped for two? Well, this isn't east to west. <laughs> yeah. It had two ACs. Awesome. Buddy. It sure did. Finishing up. Great place for the sewer. Black and gray tank dump station. Very nice. Yeah. Yep. And then we got the. Uh, Outdoor shower, city water connection, fresh water tank, solar charge controller, and everything. Cool. Potable water fill as well. Potable, potable. Well, well, the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. What a beautiful truck. <laughs> you know what America's thinking right now, Will? What? Who the heck would ever buy an orange truck? All right. <laughs> this sucker right here. Side. Okay. All right, we'll start up front. Nice bed up front here. Split, kind of walk through bathroom here. Uh, you, uh, regular dinette or dining area, living area kitchen and everything right in here. Now, well, before we show everybody inside, we yes. want to let everybody know we're sponsored by Lipper. Lippert sponsors the channel and the episode. This week is National Volunteer Week. And actually yesterday, Will, Jen, and I, we volunteer for Habitat for Humanity in... See... See something. Yeah. In Charleston, South Carolina. It was just really great. It was an awesome uh, project that we worked on. We helped build a house for somebody in need. Um, and we just volunteered. We didn't spend too much time at it. But again, the amount of work that we did just helped the situation get done so much faster. Yes. We're encouraging everybody to volunteer, not just this week, but volunteer in your community. Or if you're an RVer, all we did was make a phone call. Like, right. it doesn't have to be your community. It can be any community. Guys, it felt good to get back to the community. And if you guys do plan on volunteering and you're on Instagram, make sure you use our hashtag, Lippert Cares. Lippert believes in you doing using business for good and we just appreciate them partnering with us and sponsoring us that's right and will yeah 
So, if you guys don't watch the show before, there's like certain things that we dislike about units. Right. And I'm like, as well as walking through this, I'm like, check, check, check. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it is going to be hard to find dislikes. Right. But let's get started back here. First and foremost, very nice cabinetry. Yep. It is a little narrow, if you show that. But really, really nice. I like the balances. I like the gray tones in here. You right. know what I'm saying? We do got the privacy blinds right here. Okay. And then these are theater seats. Very comfortable. They're the Allure collection. Very nice. Yep. They recline back. We got your cup holder here. Remote holder goes in here. And then we got these little end tables. No, no door, but a little Open cubby up. and phone charger there. Powering USB on both sides. Yep, cubby and things right there. No heat duct on the floor. Very Will, nice. we effed up. Why? Because this one didn't make the top five awards. Oh. Can I be honest with America? What? I didn't know about the Alta like this. Right. You know? Like, I knew of the Alta, but... Like, there's a lot of things that they're checking off. Right. Okay, and then over here, whoop, right over here, is the sofa area. And then they got this uh, type of sofa we're gonna show everybody. Real big windows. Yeah, I love that. Not frameless, so they do slide open. And uh, a day like today is really nice to have them. From the bottom. Oh, there it's this type. Oh, yeah. You like this type, don't you? I I think when we saw it in Georgia, I wasn't sure about it. But it's very flush. It's very it nice. Um, like, so Will has a fifth wheel. And on Will's, it's a trifold. But it's actually thicker in the back. Right. So it almost feels like I'm sleeping downward. Uh, this one's very flat and nice. I like it. Yeah. And there's plenty of uh, leg space here. And then show that... Uh, entertainment center cool a little bit of storage up here i like how these are glass no they're not oh yes they are so um a dvd player or whatever would work gaming system nice 39 inch furion tv with a furion sound bar and a little fireplace right there yeah and what's great about that fireplace is it does produce heat from electricity yep is there storage on that, that side or no nope. Nope. okay i wonder what's behind that kind of weird huh does it come out huh no. yeah it's almost like wasted space unless there's like mechanicals or whatever back there yeah there must be yeah you know probably yeah because you got electrical right the there and everything yeah here's the dinette well okay we do got storage underneath not one but two do you think it's a storage ah uh, yeah this does drop down to make a bag. That's a nice size dinette too. Right. So what else is nice about it is um, it's not pinned down. Right. So if we need to scoot it closer to me, vice versa. And you can also take this dinette outside. Nice windows. Again, nice ambiance, the look, the feel. Yeah. Very light in here. It's funny. Because they only have one strip. I know, of there's lights. not that much lighting in here. But again, the natural light. Right, is huge. right. You know what we didn't get? We didn't get the MSRP. But okay. we, we will get that at the end. Cool, sounds good. Show us the kitchen, Will. All right. Nice storage up top here. This does pass through all the way. A little bit of storage here as well. Nice backsplash right here. Good spray faucet. Sing oh, nice big single bowl sink right there. Very nice. And I think I like what I'm seeing here. Yes, they did this right. Like, it's nice mm. and big, and more importantly, it's flush right there. Okay, but it doesn't look solid surface. None of it is solid surface. Okay, okay. Yep. So, I'm not going to pitch my hand on that, though. Oh, I got it. Underneath. Oh, I got it, Will. You got it? There you go. A little bit of storage hey. underneath. Hey, not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> Let me get this too. Oh, oh, a little dog bowl for Tucker and Yuna. Yep, that's cool. Show that storage underneath there again. I missed it. I'm sorry. This one? Yeah. Storage right that. there. Yep. And a couple drawers here. Very nice. No MSRP in there. Right. Maybe we'll find the MSRP. We might. Right there. 
A little high point microwave right there. Okay. You think it's in there? No, it's not. I mean, look, look. Take, 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 take a look. Okay. Let's I don't see. think it is. I doubt it. It would be like the first. Oh, right, right. No. Yeah, no. Nope. Yeah. Else. Okay. We'll find it. Well, it's a, it's a mystery. <laughs> Something else that's very awesome about this kitchen. Look that at that huge, huge window. window. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. Again, not solid surface countertops. Graystone range hood right here. Nice three burner graystone cooktop here. Very nice. With the oven. And a drawer underneath right there. Very nice. Over here, you got the Everchill refrigerator. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Wow, look how big that is, actually. It's very big. That freezer and nice. is really nice and big. Uh, compressor refrigerator, so it works off of electricity. Cools really quick. I love that. And here's some of the Altus key features here. Right. This is, um, yeah, really nice vacuum bonded five inch roof, solar panel. Goodyear endurances are standard. Right. Which I actually found out it's an option on Grand Design. Oh, well, everybody, and everybody, well, orders everybody it with orders it. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this is awesome, too. Did we talk about that? As those sidewalls? Yes. So, cool. Perfect. Oh, oh, what? they do something in the bedroom. Yes, I know. Let's check out the shower first. Every East to West has it, I believe. Wow. So I thought that was a Coachman thing. Maybe it was an East to West thing. It is an East to West thing. Stand on in that shower, Will. Wow. That's a great big shower. This is awesome. Man. Plenty of head height, plenty of width and depth. Nice little curtain here, shower curtain right there. Man. That's cool. This definitely passes. Bing. That's a shower test seal of approval. That's right. Nice cubbies and everything. Yep. And then over here, Will, we got a nice medicine cabinet for okay. all your medicines. Nice. Little sink right here. A little bit of storage area. Okay, right there. Cool. And then here, porcelain toilet. Mm. Pretty nice. No. Oh, no. No, I'm rubbing. It looked great. I mean, it's crazy because it's a great placement. Yeah. But it needs you to need be angled. A bit. Dude, it needs to be angled this way. The fact that it's angled this way, I'm rubbing against it. Gotcha. And even though I probably wouldn't be rubbing if I closed the door, the fact that there's this much bathroom space and the fact that I'm touching it all, I'm not going to pass it, Will. It is porcelain. Yeah. Not a prime poop position. That's okay. a shame. Right. But because, like, there's all this space. And they even angled it some. Just thought about Yeah, they, they, they just need to do a hard angle. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it is what it is. Okay. And then finishing up here in the master bedroom. Wow. Okay. King size bed, first and foremost. Right. That's awesome. Second AC unit. Love it. Big storage above. Same thing over here. Old coat closet there yep. or whatever. And then here. That's pretty neat. A couple drawers, drawers right here. Yep. Power USB, little storage behind it. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. And then here's what we've seen on the pamphlet. What the hell's going on? Well, it's uh, not as much as I thought. Right. I mean, it helps, but. Yeah, it does, I mean. So we got a little bit of this action. A couple drawers down there. Yep. A couple drawers down there, power cord. And a little bit better storage. Um, TV backer over there in a second doorway to the bedroom here. Cool. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. We're going to run inside and get you guys the MSRP in just a moment. But first, Will, we got to let everybody know three things we love about the Ulta, three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we ooh, dislike. Yes. It's going to be hard. I, I, I got them all. Okay. I, I got them all. So I actually have like four or five, and they're all little things. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? That's, what, so that's there, how this trailer is. Right, there's going to be a lot of combos. So first, I'm going to say I'm disappointed with this flip-up bed. Right. It's, it's almost, almost like you can't be mad because like nobody else is doing it, but at the same but time, Coachman's it's like... Coachman's doing it. True. And Coachman goes vertical. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's why I'm disappointed. Okay. Um, because it can be done. And with how tall the ceilings are, guys, Will is six foot three. Right, great Look at ceiling the, height. In a travel trailer, yeah. like it's really great. So they could have made that flip up. That's dislike number one. Another small dislike, we hate the mid bathroom. Yeah. Right? Because you gotta walk through the bathroom to come to the bedroom. 
The good news, at least, is they did add that second door right, right. there. So that's number two. Well, number three, and this isn't like a real one, but look at this. Isn't this weird? Yeah. That's where the handle is, right next to the awning. So, hang on a second. How do I do this? Okay. So when you go to grab it, like you can't even grab right. the handle. And it's really a nuisance being next to that awning. Yeah. And then, Will, in the kitchen area, uh -huh. why don't you show us? Like, and again, guys, we're giving you, we're giving you five dislikes because they're not like huge dislikes. Right. They're all like little petty stuff. Exactly. Yeah, I think this is the last one, but last one would be... Last two. Last two? Yeah, there's two things in the kitchen. Okay. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like if this kind of... Like, comparing the competition, they should have had solid surface countertops. Yes. You know, these countertops look really nice and everything, and they did a good job with it. But again, I feel like it should be that higher and yep. solid surface. 100%. And the other thing is, again, comparing it to competition, I feel like a little bit of a, especially bigger microwave, and probably even a little bit of a bigger oven would have been right. awesome. Right, right. Uh, especially with like, that, I mean, that fridge yeah, is huge. Yeah, this fridge is awesome. Right. I love this fridge. Great, so that's three things, i.e. five little things, that we don't like about this unit. Well, even easier, now it's time for three things we love about this unit. Okay. Um, I just kind of want to start rambling on. Guys, you know what? I'm changing it up. Okay, there's so much cool about this trailer. Here's what we look for when we're walking around an RV. What we like, right? Not saying that it's right, but this is what we like. Asdell. Yes. Goodyear tires. Yeah. No carpet. Mm hmm No floor vents. Flush floor slides. Flush, look at this, Will. Flush floor slides. Double AC. Double AC. It's hot as hell down here in Florida and in North or South Carolina. Storage under the dinette. Yes. This is just- King size bed. King size bed. This is stuff that's important to us Yes. That we really, really look for. High ceilings. A 30 by 36 shower. By the way, that might be a 36 by 36 right. shower. Right. You know what check. I'm saying? And to top it all off, Will, a huge window right here. Right. Absolutely fantastic. And those are little things. Electric stabilizing jacks. Oh, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, these are all little things that just creature comforts that we absolutely love about RVs and there's a brand of fifth wheel that's very high end that has three inch walls hmm. that they don't even have half of the features right. that we just mentioned. So I really do like it. It's a great unit um, at, at a great price. Actually, I don't know if it's at a great price. <laughs> well, it let's, is actually though. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do now. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, let's go into the brand new dealership. Okay. Let's show it around a little bit, guys. Cool. Literally, today's Wednesday. They're you're, still cleaning up a little you're bit. You're watching this video tonight. Yeah. And they're still cleaning up and they're still getting units in. Um, so let's take a little tour of this since it's a special occasion video. Cool. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. And guys, we were gonna do a tour on the inside, but it's a little hectic going on in there. And Will and Jen just came out with an announcement video about the grand opening. We'll link that down in the description below. They kind of did an interior tour as well. Uh, but Will, you ready for this? Yep. MSRP on the Alta 2850 is... $57,437.40. Will. MSRP sale price as you guys know it's a current 2022 and we can't advertise the sale price but well here's what I promise you one you guys know we're part of RVR which is a nationwide network of dealerships and as Will said earlier Elijah Bendel our friend you've seen him on the show is now the GM of the RV1 of Charleston South Carolina so if you guys are interested in this unit please send us an email mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or click the contact tab below we, Will and I, we're going to get you with Elijah, we're going to get you with somebody from the team here, and we're going to make sure, I promise you guys, to get you great deal, great price, and truthfully, because it's Elijah, we're going to make sure that you guys get, he's going to make sure that you get the best RV buying experience That's in right. the entire industry. Yes. Will, is there anything you want to say? 
Yeah, again, guys, we're so excited for Elijah to open this store, and we're so excited to be um, for this store to carry East to West products as well because it's always a product that Matt and I have liked from the very beginning. Yeah. But it's been a little bit harder for us to get our hands on it. Yes. So it's just a really good combination here, along with honestly a lot of the other brands. Yes, sir. We're gonna have and carry here. So make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about that Alta. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for yeah. watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.